I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I put out laid back luxury travel videos inspiring you to buy that plane ticket, get out there and go. If you're looking for tips and inspiration, ideas, itineraries, what to pack, then this is a place for you, so make sure to subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, thanks so much for coming back by. I really appreciate your support. Today, it's all about solo travel and safety tips for traveling to Spain. I love Spain. I was actually in Spain two months this this year, a month last year, a month the year before, and people always ask, is it safe for a solo traveler? Being female, is it safe for you there? What do you do? What precautions do you take? So this video is everything that you need to know to stay safe while you're in Spain. The first set of tips will be great for Spain, but are also valuable for any trip that you take anywhere in the world. Make sure that you have an itinerary. You don't have to book every minute, but make sure you have your bookends and a few days of accommodation. Make sure you're in connection with your concierges and your Airbnb hosts and asking for tips and ideas. I would also tell your concierge and your Airbnb host that you will be traveling alone. Make sure they have your phone number and your information just in case something happens to you and someone comes looking for you. As far as somebody coming looking for you, I definitely recommend that you give your itinerary to friends and family make sure that okay i'm not suggesting somebody follow you but maybe turn on your location services on your phone that way if something happens to you then your friends and family whoever you give that location service to uh, will know where you are just to be safe you can turn it off when you get home i also recommend that you bring at least two atm cards and at least two credit cards Unfortunately, American Express is not well accepted throughout Europe and a lot of the world, so make sure to bring visas and MasterCards as well as an American Express. The reason I say two ATM cards and at least two credit cards, one you can leave in your hotel uh, safe or in your Airbnb safe, and the other you can have with you. That way, if your stuff gets stolen, you have an extra ATM card and you have an extra credit card. In addition, I do recommend that you keep your passport at home. Keep, or I'm not at home. Don't keep it at home, you're going to Spain. Keep your passport in your accommodation, in your hotel or your Airbnb, and bring your driver's license with you. If you're gonna need a, a form of identification, it's easy to have your driver's license. They may not recognize a driver's license, but at least it's a great form of identification, and it's much easier to get if you lose it or if it gets stolen back at home. You can can't get home without your passport, you can get home without your driver's license. The last general tip I have is about your bag. Make sure when you're in public places, large markets, and also in the metro or public transportation, put your bag on your front. You can always put your backpack towards the front, that way it's in front of you. Make sure that those backpacks have very strong zippers. Make sure that you put the zippers all the way down to the other side and not zip it up to the top like here, which is very easy to open just a tiny little bit and slip somebody's hand in there. I also suggest in a cafe or a restaurant, either put your bag in your lap or put the strap over one knee and then cross your other knee so your bag is actually locked in between your two knees. It, it will keep your bag much safer. Also, never put it on the, uh, the chair next to you or over the back of your chair. That's just asking for trouble. So I have traveled solo to probably 45 of the 66 countries that I have visited. So I have lots of tips, tricks, hacks, ideas, and suggestions for solo travel. If you're interested in getting my free download that are the best tips I have, make sure to go to the description below and download the free guide. Spain is part of the European Union and is known for being a relatively safe country. It's not known for violent crimes against tourists, but it is known for having some pickpockets as well as some petty theft in the bigger cities in the more tourist areas. So although there are not violent crimes, it is still good for you to be aware of your surroundings and your belongings at all times, just like anywhere in the world. A couple of petty theft scams that I've heard of in Spain, but not specific to Spain, are one, people driving by in a Vespa or a motorcycle and grabbing whatever is in your hand, from an ice cream cone to your phone, to your purse, to your wallet. So just make sure, especially in busy corners in larger cities, that you are paying attention and not standing on the edge of the curb, holding onto your phone way out here like this. 
I've also heard that if you are carrying lots of luggage and you are fumbling around with your luggage, that somebody will come up to you, distract you, get your attention while somebody else sweeps by and grabs your luggage and runs off with your luggage. So those two things, be very, very careful. I've also heard in some of the bigger cities in the food markets that pickpockets are prevalent. So just no matter where you are in the world, make sure to pay attention to your belongings and your surroundings. Despite those specific examples that I've heard of in Spain, Spain is still extremely safe. I've never had anything happen to me and I go there quite often. I love it, absolutely love it. Let's talk a little bit about the culture of Spain. It is a Catholic country and a relatively conservative country as well. When you're in the bigger cities, make sure to dress just a little bit more conservatively, wear a little bit darker clothes, your skirts and your shorts just a little bit longer. That will help you stay safe, not necessarily look like a local, but will help you stay safe while you're traveling. Additionally, in Spain, you will get people gazing at you, which some people find aggressive or irritating. To me, I just find it a little flattering. So you can meet their gaze back. It's more common in Spain for people to look at you and to hold your gaze maybe walking down the street or in a restaurant. Spain is also known for being a late night culture. It is quite common to go out to dinner at 9.30, 10, 10.30 in the evening. The streets are busy at night. There's well light lit streets in the evenings. There's plenty of transportation, both public and taxis, etc., in the evening. So it's relatively safe if you're a solo female traveler to go out in the evenings on your own. Couple of things to know, if you're going out late at night and play Plan on going to some of the clubs. Again, the culture is a little more conservative, so dress accordingly. Also, make sure that you are buying your own drinks. Make sure that you are covering the top of your drink when you're standing there. Don't leave your drinks alone because anywhere in the world, somebody can slip something in your drink and that would not be a good thing. Let's talk a little bit about transportation while in Spain to keep yourself safe. First and foremost, taxis. Taxis are readily available, very common, and specifically in large cities, they're everywhere all of the time. Once you get into a smaller city, my recommendation is if you're out to dinner or out for the evening that you ask your hotel or the restaurant to call you a cab when you're ready to go. Instead of walking outside, standing on the street by yourself and trying to flag one down. In addition to traditional taxis, a lot of the cities will have Uber. They also have a brand called Cabify, which is very similar to Uber that I use quite often. They also have something that is relatively safe called Blah Blah Car. Blah Blah Car is a app where you can go between cities. Say for example, you wanna go from Malaga to Granada. It may only be 10 or 12 euros, but the thing is, is your luggage, all your stuff, plus two or three other people are going to be in the car with you. I have found that Blah Blah Car to be relatively safe as well. So all of those options are super safe. Additionally, if you're on public transportation, I find the train system, the bus system, and all of the metros in the larger cities to be relatively safe. Again, as I mentioned, if you're in the metro, carry your bag uh, in front of you and don't leave your phone in your back pocket. And I find that if you are going to need the restroom when you're in on a train or when you're on the bus, make sure to take your purse and your belongings with you or um, yeah, don't ask a stranger to watch it for you. That's just not a good idea. I also find that renting a car in Spain is relatively safe as well. And I have driven quite a few times at night in Spain. The roads are well marked, uh, well kept, and there are lots of gas stations along the way, even when you're on the highway. That being said, I don't recommend as a single solo female traveler to be driving in the middle of the night by yourself. It's just not a good idea. You just never know when you're gonna have a flat tire. So I do try and drive just during the day, but I do find it safe in the evenings. Now that I have talked a little bit about how to stay safe while you're in Spain, and is it a safe place to visit? Yes, of course it is. Let's talk about why it's such a fun place to go travel solo. First and foremost, I love the Spaniards. The Spaniards are heart 
forward, welcoming, open, and generous. I find them overly helpful to give me directions, suggestions. They're always looking after me. They're always giving me their phone number just to make sure that I am okay while I'm traveling through Spain. I love the Spaniards, they're incredible. So not only are the Spaniards generous and kind and open and welcoming, you will also be able to meet lots of tourists from all over the world. Recently when I was in Sevilla, I had dinner with uh, somebody from Australia, somebody from Singapore, somebody from England, and somebody from Scotland and Canada on the same evening. And I was traveling solo, I just happened to meet them on individual tours. That is also one recommendation. Spain has lots of tours, from food tours, tapas tours. Go out and take these individual city tours, etc. It's a great way to meet people while you're traveling solo and you never know who you might meet. And luckily the culture in Spain is famous for tapas. So it's very easy to go into a tapas bar, belly up to the bar, grab one drink, one tapa, two tapas, and look to your right or look to your left and start talking to the person next to you. If you wanna be social and meet people, it's a great way to meet people. Also, if you just wanna hang out by yourself, then just hang out, but it's great people watching as well in all of those tapas bars. And finally, I am a big foodie, and so it's very important to feel comfortable and happy going out to restaurants by myself in the evenings. I find that Spain is a great place to go solo to a restaurant. One, the tables are very close together. That way, if I wanna chit chat with somebody next to me, I can. Also, when I am solo, most of the waiters and kitchen staff and bartenders, etc., fall over themselves to make it very accommodating for me while I'm there. They just want to know that I am well cared for, and I find that almost every single restaurant when I'm traveling in Spain in the evenings. I love it. It's so easy to go out to dinner by yourself <laughs> in Spain. It just is. I find Spain to be extremely safe for solo female travelers. I recommend going there. It's one of my favorite places in the world. That's why I go every single year. So if you have an additional thought, comment, or suggestion about staying safe in Spain or staying safe in general as a solo female traveler, make sure to leave a comment uh, below. I'd really appreciate it and we'd all love your tips. So I am Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and I cannot wait to see you in Spain at some amazing restaurant or some food tour or the Alhambra or somewhere. And I hope to see you very, very soon. And thanks so much for watching. Take care, everybody. Bye.